still do carry a conversation with him. I still do care about him. I still do love him. Giants can love as well. Maybe you should remind him who wears the pants in this relationship. Um... <laughs> But uh, so none of you are cultists. Your your friend here has told me that you are not part of the cultists. Is that true? That's true. Yeah, we're actually trying to stop the cultists. And who yes, is that's who is sending you is to stop the cultists? Is it Waterdeep? Is it Baldur's Gate? Is it one of the other major it's... cities? Have they heard word of, of this cult of the dragon? Well, obviously so. I mean, uh, the, the, uh, there have been uh, several officers of, of the shadow that were found and, and basically strung out and, and died and thrown over the castle. I believe uh, they were from the Zentrum. Uh, there are three factions that are trying to stop this cult, dragon of the cult, or cult as of they the should, dragon, whatever. Uh, but unfortunately, they're lacking in knowledge of the cult and their operations, and we're trying to collect information and try to hinder as much as possible. Well, now there is a uh, a whole cave of treasure down below. There is this fiendish white dragon down there as, as I'm sure you probably know you know that there is Glazel the, the cloud chaser which has killed many dragons in her life and mi killed many giants in her life that is what I speak of that is what that is what I'm saying my, my husband does not think straight anymore What can we do to help you 50 get rid years of those ago, cultists? Fifty years ago, he would have never put put up with this. He he would have never even uh, he would have never even uh, squandered a thought on allying with anything associated with dragons. And now look at him. Such a shame. Who's the heir, as it were? The heir. What do you mean, the heir? Yeah. The you know, in case the king dies and someone take, needs to take over? Glogothkis is no king. He is just the ruler of his castle. He is the last of his line. How can we help you and help him at the same time? It would seem that if we, it would seem we're getting a circular argument. I, I will not disobey him. He does want to follow the, the preserve the cultists. I want to get rid of the cultists. I, I see no hole in this argument to get you out. Then I will crash the castle. Simple as that. I could have crashed well, this castle all along. Uh, well, do you think uh, a, a cra castle crashing into a mountainside? Do you think? Do you think anyone would survive? What about your husband? He can be with me in spirit now. I can have my Blagothkis back, the one that I knew. When I died, we helped him to the spirit world. Would that get you there sooner? It will join us together, yes. So, you don't believe there's anything that can be done for your husband otherwise? No. There is no magic that can. That can turn the turn the clock back for him. He's an old he's an old giant. I agree with that. He's lived, I just he's lived a very of my wizard. He, he's lived a very good life. He's fathered many children. His children are all gone. 
he you know he has no there, there's no no one left on the bloodline to you know take what is his okay well okay let's regroup here let's look at our objectives we have to kill the white mask guy dwarf yeah and dwarf that varmar whatever yeah varmar that's his that's what yeah. we call him and then after that uh, part, we kind of, we definitely need griffin in order to get out of here varmar are you talking about uh, one of their elites yeah. Valmar is not on the castle now. I can tell you that. Oh, son of a bitch. Why? Why do you speak of Valmar? Is she with you? Is she giving you the commands? No, we came here. To I thought her. she was one of their and one of their the elites with with this pitiful half dragon Resmir. Oh, if I was only in a human if I was in giant form, I would crush her with one foot. Is there any way dragon. to put, get you back to giant form? He's dead, no. so no. I do not want to be resurrected. Too bad there's not a picture of her around here. If Tara could polymorph herself into her, wouldn't that shake things up? <laughs> <laughs> I will crash the mountain. It will bring Blagothkis to me in spirit form. Well, we're going Before you do that, we're gonna have to make. Do you sure want to be known in tales? Can't escape. Do you want to be known in poem? Then you will go down with the castle. If you want to escape, there are several wyverns in the stable. There you go. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, okay. Here's I will crash since the castle. That guy's not here. You have my word. Okay. Since that guy's not here, we're going to have to make our way down to the stables, secure five mounts, and then release the rest to make sure no one else can get out. There's there's, there's not five wyverns down there, my friend. There are only three. There were a couple others. I said five mounts. There, there, are, there, are, there are only three wyverns, my friend. You can, you can ride two per wyvern. Okay. If one giant oh, can okay, ride on so. a wyvern, then two of you small humans... You could definitely fit on a wyvern. They are strong. Let's get our mask and our wyvern and get out of here. Well, uh, the mask isn't here. F the mask. Crash this bitch into the into the side of the cliff, and then we can yeah, hunt for gold when it melts. Do we want to get the black mask, though? Do we want to get try and get the black mask? You speak of Resmir. Yeah. Resmir is here. Resmir is on is in Skyreach, but she usually has a a large entourage with her at all times. I don't think you would have enough time okay, so. to grab that to grab that item that you seek and to make it. And that's that's what I am saying. Uh, you'd be known in song and tale and poem for many 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 generations. So pretty much our only option is to leave, or go down with the if we want to go leave, down with the castle, go down with the ship. Yeah. Hey, you know what, Krivgar? I mean, we could get on these wyverns, jump overboard as it crashes, and if you wanna find that black mask, just wait for this mass of ice to uh, melt, and there'll be bodies stacked up like you've never seen. But you can you can dig yourself through those. And you find that black mask if that's what you if that's what you want to do. But like I said before, if this crashes and we do it far away from where it's it's going, you know, we don't want it to crash with all the gold right next to Tiamat cuz then it's like, "Hello, special delivery." But this, if this thing crashes, the spoils will kill Glaziel. The loot will uh, the gold will will crush that dragon. What a way to go. As a dragon that just loves gold. Buried by your own treasure. Buried by it. That's awesome. 
Oh, I guess we should put this to a vote. Should we crash the castle? Yes! <laughs> should it be <laughs> castle crashers? God damn it, I want to cast a level 4 fireball. You know what? You can cast a fireball from the as sky. The yeah, from the sky as this bitch is crashing. <laughs> you got a couple yeah, ways that you, you got a couple ways that you could cast. Uh, you got you got a couple things that you could do to cast a couple fireballs real quick on your way out. If you wanted to burn some of them spell points, <laughs> you got a couple a couple things you could do. <laughs> this is what is your decision? Well, considering my we're heading for the. If we have for the stables, then I imagine we'll be killing a few uh, guards at the stable. You're, the way, in, you're the within way a day and a half slight to Waterdeep. You could make it to, to Neverwinter. Would, you could make it to Waterdeep in a day to, to Neverwinter. You could make it to. Will be guarded? Uh, you know, I will make sure that no one is guarding unguarded. the stables. Oh, okay. Uh, what's yeah. the quickest route to the stables? These stables are on the first tier of our castle. Where we entered? Uh, I, I'm just going yeah, to ask for like a general direction. You know, you take a left at the fork of where the funny looking guy is, and then take a right where the. there and went on. So I just want to get a general direction so that way you can get there as quickly it's as It's like possible. a GPS or something. She'll, yeah. give you, she'll give you turn by turn directions all the way. To the, stables. the stables are on the, in your head. The stables are on the northern wall of the lower courtyard. Okay, so all in okay. favor of, all in favor of crashing the castle? Raise your hand. Oh snap. Well, Looks like you lose. Uh, you know, out honestly, it. guys, I really never ever 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 thought that you guys were gonna go this route. I, I really thought you guys were gonna go fucking blaze of glory in here just Killing everything. That's what I thought you guys were gonna do. You what gotta... I wanted. How smart are we? Not expending a single magic point to destroy everybody instantaneously. I would have never thought of this unless, except I saw Avengers two yesterday. Clutch so now slide of hands. Clutch persuasion rolls. Yeah, you guys. You guys definitely deserve this. Let's so, do it. hey, let's. So hey, what is your decision, my friends? Mentally, yeah, right? she, she's asking you right now. What is your decision, my friends? Well, get give us the first time. wyvern out of here. Yeah, get us, give us a chance to get on the wyvern, and yeah. then we'll send you the signal. And then you can plummet this well, thing I'm, right I'm sure the she can track us once we get to the stable. She'll know to start crashing us. I will give you 15 minutes. You will have 15 okay. minutes. And then we'll start making our way. See this beautiful sight around you? Isn't it beautiful? Alright, all of a sudden, she says, Thank you, my friends. Thank you for bringing my Blagothkus back to me. And to reward you, okay. I want to show you my appreciation as well. And as she says that, all of the ice walls melt. And all these gems, rods, everything, are just falling to the ground, floating into the air. She goes, take what you will. You have five minutes before you need Help to leave. yourself. <laughs> I'm filling my packs all the way. I'm, I'm not... like, hot damn. <laughs> so uh, wait, she, wait, did she, you say we have five minutes? You have five minutes, and then you need to leave, because it's going to take you about ten minutes to get to the stables and get off of the castle. There are several alcoves in the stables that you can just fly out of. She says, okay. the controls are broken, the castle is going to crash. There is nothing I can do now. So take as much as you can within five minutes and get down to the stables and get out of here. I can only I can only control this castle for so long now that there are no that there are no longer any more controls. I can only control this thing so long. You have fifteen minutes. So I guess uh, uh, all of a sudden this this ice just disappears. And you know you're still traveling, you know the no no noises, no sounds, nothing. All of a sudden, all these gems, just thousands and thousands of gems, platinum rods, gold orbs, dibs. <laughs> it's just all falling. Poof. 
Just so we're my, I'm holding my pack out and saying, here we go, we'll just so, fall right in here. You actually so, collect all ice. <laughs> yeah, so I'm the one that gets for the five games. minutes, we all collect as much as we can, and then we just start booking it out of there, heading towards okay. the stables. I want, to, I want everybody to give me two 1d4 rolls. Now, are you sure I don't want to cast Hold Person on Silverclaw? That is up to you. That would require oh. a saving throw. Two 1d4 ah, saving throw. Uh, two move. 1d4 rolls for everybody. So, can I just do it as two, um, 2d4? So, I guess you guys are dumping all of your backpacks out. Everybody's just ditching everything and just filling it up with, with all of these gems and bars and whatnot, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Crap. Crit both times. So did everybody get uh, their two rolls in a piece? Yeah, I got a okay. five total. Yeah, okay, let's see. <laughs> There's the snake eyes at the uh, end. I cannot believe this shit. I gotta give you this. The one guy. The one guy. <laughs> It turns out his backpack has a hole in the lower right hand corner. <laughs> Everyone take two shots. <laughs> you got two good. and I got eight. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I guess my time is my time is at hand. Alright, nice rolls. You guys uh somebody jot down twenty eight. The number twenty eight. Okay, so you guys are are gathering all of these bars. You know, your priority was like the oh, everybody's grabbing. So everybody, basically, you guys have no equipment left. You have just your your equipments. You have your 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 armor, your weapons, and basically your backpacks. So you guys get out of the tower, <clears throat> and as you and get I'm down blasting. to the bo yeah, you still have that I as well. You you get down to the bottom. And uh, you see a uh, sight that uh, an ogre walks up to you, Tara. Do you have slugs? Do you have my ham hock yet? We're heading there right now to get it. I'll Ooh. bring it back in five minutes. Ooh, oh, goody. I put campfire up. We cook ham hock out here. Ooh. So all, all of the, uh, you know, yeah, you maybe, maybe ten yeah. minutes. Give, give me ten minutes. I'll be right here. I have not forgot. Okay, so as you guys are getting I. back down, you guys, what do you guys want to do from here? I mean, you guys have about ten minutes before this thing is gonna, you know, basically uh, crash in the north. Hedge. I'm gonna go down to the entrance map. Yeah, I'm sprinting <clears throat> to the wyverns because this is yeah, this yeah. is bonkers. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to like decide <laughs> to look around. All right. If We're I can sprint, here. Right. freaking two ones. Definitely. Sprinting. Probably broke my ankle while running. Oh no! All right, so you guys are are back here at the uh, the upper courtyard. So, uh, you guys are here. The door of the north is right to the north. There, no, that's no. Uh, where she was telling you, there are uh, this way out on the northern wall of the uh, the the lower courtyard is where. Resmir is past that door, though. She does tell you, you know, Resmir does stay past that door. So, uh, you guys are, you know, all of a sudden you can hear uh, this energy starting to kind of phase in and out, and you, and all of a sudden the the castle jolts really hard one time. So everybody, give me a a dexterity saving throw. And you can see that several ogres go down around you. Uh, several uh, Silverclaw, you're okay. Krivgar, you're okay. Terra, you have feet like a cat, you're up. Several ogres go down. Uh, several of the uh, the kobolds that are carrying food into the quarters, uh, they go down. Food spills everywhere. Uh, another kobold comes out and starts yelling at them. Uh, probably Gordon Ramsay, the kobold version. Uh, ah, nice, nice roll, Zila. A, a, a crit hit. Nice. So, everybody, you get to the stables. I'm going to move you inside of the stables.
All the wyverns are dead. There are no giants. There are several wyverns in these uh, in these stalls. Tara, be my wyvern buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Us elves have to stick together. Uh, I only see one elf. Oh! He doesn't know. I want the purple one. Zelos and Krivgar, you got you guys get on one. All right. So you guys are with the wyverns, and as you guys are starting to get onto the wyverns, the wyverns are actually kind of expecting you because they're sitting down. Uh, they, you know, they uh, they do have uh, some saddles on them, or you know, the carriages that you can ride in, and each one of the wyverns take off. Now you also hear one last thing from uh, from Esclarata. She tells you, "Thank you again." And praise Tiamat, and she laughs. And then, as you kind of, <laughs> as you guys are flying up to the mountains, I'm gonna, I'm going to show you guys where, where you're at here on the map. So she did a sarcastic praise Tiamat. She yes. Gave us one of these psychic winks. <laughs> that's that's pretty much. Praise uh, Tiamat. That's pretty much what she said. She says praise Tiamat to you, and basically, you guys are up here near the spine of the world, at the very northern. Portion. Wow, that thing made good time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The sun is starting to go down. You yeah, can well, see, you know, a, a a a beautiful. You know, you guys have a beautiful beautiful view. You know, you can see the curvature of of the lands. You can see that the sun is now starting to go down uh, in the west as you are traveling. You know, like a sort of like a northwestern type of route. And as you start to ascend up into the, the top of the mountains, you can see that the castle just steadily loses altitude and crashes into the spine of the world. And you can see nothing but smoke and steam just billowing up. Just, Is there a mushroom cloud? No, there's not. No. No, just a, a massive. The kill count now? Uh, there's just a massive cloud, and you could actually hear it. You could hear a, a rumbling off into the distance. So, so just think how much experience for every creature that died because of us. Yeah. <laughs> you guys uh, are Except level we'll eight. Well, you guys, uh, you know, I, honestly, guys, I really never, really never thought that you guys were going to do that. Seriously, I didn't think so. So, the the castle crashes. And you have your choice. Where would you like to go? Where you, would you like to go to Neverwinter? Would you like to go to Water uh, Waterdeep? Would you like to go to Baldur's Gate? Would you like to go anywhere? Where would you guys like to go? What's the closest? Would you like to go back to Greenus? Neverwinter. Neverwinter's. Never, uh, Neverwinter yeah, Neverwinter's uh, probably uh, about a couple hours away. Let's let's go to Neverwinter. We can tell everybody that we've saved the day. And get our uh, guilds to just uh, <laughs> worship us like gods. So I thought they were an elder realm. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, they, they well they have uh, uh they have emissaries in, in every city, but uh, yeah, uh, Alterel where you guys left, uh, there there's a uh, a major uh, contingency there. That's where Leoson was. That's where you know the Paladin was, Zelos. So you if you guys want to go to Alterel, that's fine as well. You could go there. I think that. The, the wyverns are, are in your command. And as you guys are uh, as you guys are traveling, uh, you have a total of twenty eight thousand gold. Yes, I said twenty eight thousand gold. It's almost worth killing the rest of the people in the party for their uh, you weren't uh, you weren't able to, to get everything off of the floor. Uh, but you were able to get the majority of all of the, the gold spheres, the, the platinum rods. So yes, you have about 28,000 gold worth of bars, wow. gems, gold orbs. Um, that's a lot of gold for all five of us. That's 5,600 mm -hmm. you, you mean four. 
and I shoot Zelos in the head. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I mean, three, and I knock him well, off the wyvern. Oh, wyvern. my God! <laughs> 5,600 each, right? Somebody check my... Right, yes, 5,600. Yep. Now, do we just put that under the gems section? Right? Uh, you can... You, yeah, if you want to, to do that, that's fine with me. It's a lot of money, man. Uh, you know, guys, I, honestly, I really never thought that that you guys were going to do that. I we thought you guys that. were going to die trying to kill this castle. I really thought you were. But that was like so, uh, how much? beautifully done. Seriously. How much gold? I'm sorry. 28,000 total. So what was it, 5,600 apiece? Yeah, 5,600 each. No, that no. This was a, a gift from the giant shadow fight. I'm just throwing random fireballs out in the air. <laughs> yeah, and this is you know. <laughs> and take into consideration this. This was not. This was not the spoils of loot from the cult, from the cultists. This was not the loot in the dragon's lair. This was the gems and the platinum rods that were holding the that was holding the magic, flying the ship. You know, all the gem knobs for controls, all of the the platinum bars for levers and the spheres to put your hand on to control the ship. That yeah, that's 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 what all this stuff is. And this is actually from the giant. This is this is from Esclarata. This is her gift to you for uniting her husband Blagothkus and her back together in the spirit world. <coughs> and you do so hear a think we you do hear a final thank you as the as the castle crashes into the the spine of the world. You do hear a final thank you, and that's the last you hear of Esclarata. I'm eating my turnips. <laughs> Find the turnip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we should pick a <laughs> have a radish on me. Now there is one more wyvern behind you with an ogre on it saying, "I want my ham hock." <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fireball! <laughs> Kill the ham hock lives in the next village. All right, so well, guys, we did it. Where do you guys want to go? Because that's where we would pick up Rise of Tiamat. Do you guys want to go let's back go to, to Elta Roll? Let's go to Neverwinter. I, I I would say I'll, I'll, I'll follow everybody. I would say to Waterdeep, because that's where the rise of Tiamat starts is in Waterdeep. <clears throat> so okay, well, we'll, we can make a stop over we'll at say that, uh, yeah, and then pick up some magic items there. We'll we'll say that and then uh, they got make our way over there. the party. You went down to El Torrell and Zelos. When you know when you guys rode in on these wyverns, it would only take about. Uh, you know, uh, probably about a day and a half of travel, and that's what you guys were doing. You were counting all of those gems and appraising the gems and counting all of the, weighing the the platinum rods and the gold and the, the gems, the rubies, the pearls. So you get to El Tarol Zelos, Zelos, and you find out that Leoson and the Paladin and all of the other members uh, of the organizations, the the Order of the Gauntlets. Uh, the Emerald Enclave, they have all left uh, El Terrell and they have went to Waterdeep. They are meeting with the Masked Lords of Waterdeep and you are to attend because uh, I am guessing that you told uh, the the rest of the, the entourage down there in El Terrell. Uh, so they told you that you need to, with haste, make it to Waterdeep, find Leoson, and inform him of what is going on. And that's where we go. And that's yep. that's where Sounds you guys are going. So, that is where we're going to go ahead and end. Uh, you guys, congratulations. You guys are level 8 now. You didn't even have to fight one wow. thing. You guys had so many clutch <laughs> persuasions, <laughs> clutch babe. sleight of hands. <laughs> that was crazy. So, you guys are going to be, you guys are going to start in Waterdeep when, when we start the Rise of Tiamat back up. So, uh, guys, it's been a, a very fun eight, nine months we've been playing Horde of the Dragon Queen. We've been playing this for a long time. So give me about... Oh my god, uh, I could have had a baby! Give me uh, a, a couple minutes. I'm going to say goodbye to the stream, and then if you guys can hang around for a couple minutes, I'm going to be right back sure. to talk to the rest Definitely. of you guys. So, Alright, everybody. I yep. appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for playing. I hope you guys had fun. All right. Thanks, Dave. So, thanks, bye, everybody. Dave. Bye, stream.
Bye, everyone. All right, everybody. So there you go. There's the Horde of the Dragon Queen.